welcome to our channel we were discussing about uh, velocity and acceleration analysis of mechanism in which we are dealing with a four bar chain mechanisms problems in last video we discussed a problem in continuation we are discussing one more problem on a four bar chain mechanism the problem statement is like this a four bar chain has a fixed link ad is equal to 1 meters driving link ab is equal to 0.3 meters connecting link bc is equal to 1.2 meters and follower link cd is equal to 0.6 meters crank ab rotates at a speed of 300 rpm clockwise with an angular acceleration of 200 radians per second second square in counterclockwise direction when angle made by the crank with fixed link is 135 degree in counterclockwise find angular velocity of link bc and cd also find the acceleration of b and c so to explain i'm using a solid edge v90 software i request the students and the learners to draw the configuration diagram velocity diagram and acceleration diagram on notebook using geometrical instruments now as a solution part we have to do some calculation so this is a problem statement what we just discussed as a solution part the data we need to list out first the speed is given 300 rpm using that speed we can find the angular velocity of crank the crank is rotating rotating at 300 rpm so angular velocity will be angular velocity of crank will be 2 pi n by 60 is the formula so we got 31.416 radians per second then the angular ag angular acceleration is given that is 200 radius per second square the link dimensions are given for a b c d b c and a d among which the a d is the fixed link and a b is crank a b is crank let us draw first the as a first step we need to draw the configuration diagram so by observing this lengths of the links we need to take take a appropriate scale let us take a scale of 0.15 meter is equal to one unit that means one centimeter line in configuration diagram represents 0 0.5 meters so if we convert that one meters into centimeters we are getting 6.66 ad ab as 0 0.3 meters that is equal to two centimeters bc 8 centimeters and cd 4 centimeters so using this data we need to construct the space diagram or configuration diagram let us construct the configuration diagram first So solution part I'm, I'm doing now so solution is step one the space diagram for space diagram scale we are taking 0 0.15 meter is equal to one unit that is one unit means one centimeter we are taking so let us construct the space diagram first the link ad is fixed so ad is one meters one meters means 6.66 centimeters we are getting so let us draw 6.66 centimeters line then the crank is 0.3 meters ab 0.3 meters means two centimeter line and the angle made with respect to the fixed link is 135 degree so we need to draw this two centimeter line at an angle this two centimeter line 
at an angle 135 degree with respect to the fixed link. Then the link BC is 1.8 meters. So if you convert to scale, we get 8 centimeters. So take arc by center point method, keeping compost leg at this point, take me measurement 8 centimeters and cut an arc. In similar way, the link CD is 0.6 meters. So after converting into scale, we get 4 centimeters. So radius will be 4 centimeters. By taking 4 centimeters, cut the previously drawn arc. So join this endpoint with the intersection of these two. Intersection of these two arc. Connect to the last point. So now let us label the these corners. So this is A. This point is B, C, and D. Since AD is a fixed link, I will draw a hatched line just to denote this link is fixed. Right? And they have given the crank is rotating at in this direction counterclockwise sorry can clock is uh, crank is rotating in clockwise direction with angular velocity omega so show the crank rotation this is omega So this completes the configuration diagram. I take this configuration diagram, little bit up. So as a second step, we need to draw the velocity diagram. Velocity diagram. For velocity diagram, we need to scale, we need to take scale. Let us take uh, first. We need to do some calculation related to velocity diagram. Here, the velocity of point B with respect to A, that is the crank. Point B is on crank. So, velocity of point B with respect to A, in which A is fixed point. So, a velocity of any point with respect to fixed point is called as absolute velocity. So VDA, that is velocity of point B with respect to A, can be taken as absolute velocity of point B, VB, is given by product of the angular velocity multiplied by the length of the link. So angular velocity is 31.416 and length of that link is 0.3 meters. Hence, we are getting the velocity of point B is equal to 9.425 meters per second. So 9.42 meters per second we are getting. So let us take the scale 2 meters per second is equal to 1 unit. Hence 9.425 divided by 2 means 4.715 centimeters line we need to draw. So let us draw the velocity diagram vector velocity B. And the, that vector velocity B will be perpendicular to the crank. The direction of velocity vector will be perpendicular to this AB line. Hence, the VB is 4.7 centimeter line. And this line must be perpendicular to the crank. In the previous video, I have shown how to take perpendicular line using set square, match one of the edges of the set square with this AB 
and need to draw a perpendicular line. So here the fixed points will be considered as a single point, as a common point. Here we have point A and point B as a fixed point. So both A as well as D will be considered as a common point. And for velocity diagram, we'll consider small letters. This is the point B. Since we know the magnitude and direction of letter B, A, B. Hence, this will be velocity of B. And it, it goes in, in this direction. This velocity vector is going in this direction. Now, velocity of point C with respect to B for which the direction will be perpendicular to the link perpendicular to link bc but magnitude is unknown so let us draw a certain length line and this line should be perpendicular to bc this line should commence from the point b where we end in previous step so this is the direction of the vector we don't know the magnitude that's why a certain length line we have drawn perpendicular to the link bc similarly the velocity of point c with respect to d will be perpendicular to this line perpendicular to this link cb so let us draw a certain length line and this line must be perpendicular to cd line here we can see since we are getting a velocity of point c with respect to fixed point d the d is already at this end point so we, sh we should draw this line from point d so intersection of these two line gives us the end point that is point c So here comes the vector in this direction and one more vector in this direction. By naming, we can say this will be velocity of point C with respect to B and this will be velocity of point C with respect to D. Later, I can trim this extra projection. You can erase using the eraser. So now by measuring these two vectors, we can calculate the velocity. Let us measure this VCB, that is 20.303, that is 2.9 centimeters. And one more VCD is 4.2 centimeters. And scale what we have taken for velocity diagram, that is 0.15 meters no or two meters per second two meters per second is equal to one unit that is one centimeter hence what are the dimensions we got vcb we got 2.9 centimeters and vcd we got 4.2 centimeters 4.23 okay so let us do convert this to the scale so by measurement we got vcb 2.9 centimeters multiplied by scale factor is 2 so 2.9 into 2 is equal to 5.8 meters per second similarly vc we got 4.3 centimeters multiplied by scale factor 2 so 8.6 meters per second so once we get this velocity values we can calculate the angular velocity of link cd we know that the product of angular velocity and the length of the link gives you the linear velocity. So the relationship between linear velocity and angular velocity can be obtained using omega. So angular velocity will be linear velocity divided by length of the link. So V omega CB is equal to VCB divided by CD. That is CB actually, it's supposed to be CB. So this is B actually. Uh, so cb length is 1.2 meters and 
VCD is equal to 8.6 divided by 0.6 meters. So finally, we got 4.9 radians per second and 14.35 radians per second. So by this, we calculated one unknown. The next step is to draw the acceleration diagram. To draw the acceleration diagram, one has to consider two components for acceleration. One is radial component of acceleration and another one is tangential component of acceleration. The radial component is also called as centripetal component, component or normal component. So all three are the same. So let us take uh, the radial component of acceleration of point B with respect to A, that's is equal to velocity AB square divided by length of that AB. So on substitution, we know 9.42 is the velocity of point A or point B with respect to A. There will be length of the AB is 0.3. So we get 296.09 meters per second. And the tangential component is the angular acceleration multiplied by the length of the link. So tangential acceleration is given in the problem itself. That is 200 radians per second square. So 200 multiplied by 0.3 gives us 60 meters per second square. Similarly, the radial component of CB is equal to velocity of that C, uh, point C square divided by length of link CB. On substitution, we got 28.94. The tangential component of acceleration of point C with respect to B is unknown in magnitude, but direction will be perpendicular to the radial component. So we know that the radial component and tangential component are 90 degree apart. This, these two components are perpendicular to each other. So anyhow, the magnitude is unknown, but direction is known for tangential component of CB. So then further, the radial component of CB, CD is equal to velocity square of CD divided by length of CD, 123.69. And tangential component in similar way, here also we don't know the magnitude we don't know the magnitude of a vector, but we know the direction of vector that is perpendicular to the radial component. So by observing this, we, ne we need to take scale that is 30 meter per second square. We need to fit the acceleration diagram, velocity diagram and space diagram in a single sheet. So that's why the values of acceleration is looking very large. So let us take the scale 30 meter per second square is equal to one unit. So if you take 30 meter per second square is equal to one unit, we need to convert all the values what we got to the scale scale uh, units. So 296.09 divided by 30 gives us 9.83 centimeters and 60 meter per second square taken as two centimeters, like rise 0.96 centimeters and 4.12 centimeters. So now using this, we need to draw the acceleration diagram. So if you draw the acceleration diagram and velocity diagram, it get, get like this in manual diagram. See, A, B, C, D is a configuration diagram drawn manually. And velocity diagram, here we have velocity diagram, vector VB, vector VCB, and vector VCD. And now we are going to draw the acceleration diagram. We are almost we're getting the acceleration diagram like this. I will explain how to draw this acceleration diagram now. So anyhow, we have these values, centimeters. Let us draw the acceleration diagram. The first value is the radial component of point B with respect to A. There always radial component will be parallel to the links. So radial component of point V with respect to A will be parallel to the crank BA. So let us draw a line. The line length is 9.87, we got it. So 9.87 centimeters. And this line must be parallel to the crank. 
So let us all the fixed points should be in a common point. We have A, a and D. So A dash and D dash as a fixed point. Then the tangential component of BA. The tangential component of BA is 60 meters per second square we got. After converting to scale, we got 2 centimeters. So we need to draw a 2 centimeter line. It should be perpendicular to the radial component. You know, the radial component and tangential component are perpendicular to each other. So we need to draw a perpendicular line to the previously drawn line. The length will be 2 centimeters. Okay. So now, by this, the radial component and axial tangential component is we joined. So if you join to starting point, so this gives the actual acceleration of point B. The, this is the vector radial component and this is tangential component. So resultant will be the actual actual acceleration of point B. So let us show the direction of this vector. So this is radial component. This is tangential component. So by this we can get the acceleration of so this is b dash now this is b dash so this vector will be acceleration of point b now further in continuation we we have taken these two values 9.87 and 2 so further we have radial component of cd that is 0 0.96 centimeters and the tangential component is unknown we need to draw the perpendicular line so let us take the radial component of cb that is 0 0.96 centimeters so 9.646 millimeter we get I take 9.646 millimeter line and this line must be parallel to the link BC. So this line should be parallel to link BC. And we should draw this line from the end point of B dash. Now the tangential component for tangential component we don't know the magnitude but direction is known so let us draw a perpendicular line to this radial component the direction is perpendicular to the radial component but the magnitude is unknown that's why we are simply drawing a perpendicular line to certain length. So what data we have next? The next data we have that is the radio component of CD 4.12. The last 4.12 which is known. So 4.12 line that means 41.2 millimeters line. We know the magnitude and direction of this so there should not be in dashed line and this line must be what parallel to the cd line so this line must be parallel to this line must be parallel to cd right and this is with respect to d so we need to start this this line must from d so d is 
this point from there they need to draw the parallel line and this is the radial component what we just now drawn the tangential component should be what perpendicular to this for which the magnitude is unknown but the direction is known so from this end point draw perpendicular to this line draw perpendicular to this line so wherever okay uh, i think uh, this length uh, line is not perpendicular so i'll delete this and i'll consider it once again so the radial component of cb is 9.646 centimeters sorry millimeters and for which the dimension is known and this should be parallel So this line must be parallel to BC. So this line must be parallel to BC. And let us move this. This should start from point, end point B. And the tangential component will be perpendicular to this. Similarly, we need to draw tangential component for this line also. So when we draw these two tangential lines, it's intersecting at this point. So let us trim the unwanted edges. We just erase these unwanted edges. So now this gives the point C. This is point C dash. So if we join this C dash with D dash, that will be the acceleration of point C. Acceleration of point C. Let me show the direction of the vectors. So this is radial component and this is tangential component and this is radial component. And we have drawn, we taken this is the tangential component. And finally, this is the resultant acceleration of point C. Now we need to measure the required accelerations. Let us start measuring the acceleration of point b is this line so we measure this line we're getting 9.76 centimeters 9.7 9.76 centimeters so this is acceleration of multiply by scale we need to do then similarly the acceleration of point c is 4.6 centimeters then the tangential component of cb the tangential component of cb is 5.04 centimeters and tangential component of cd is 2.3 centimeters and this, what are the measurements we have taken for which we need to take the proper measurement and it will multiply by the scale. So when you when we did using manual diagram, we got almost this is 10 centimeters, 4.8 centimeters, 5.1, 6.1, 6.2, 6.3, 6.4, 6.5, 6.6, 6.7, 6.8, 6.9, 6.10, 6.11, 6.12, 6.13, 6
centimeters 2.6 centimeters so there will be slight difference in manual and system so when we drawing it depends upon the accuracy so 0.1 1 millimeter or 2 millimeter tolerance will be given so by multiplying the scale factor we will get all the values of acceleration acceleration of point p acceleration of point c and tangential component which are unknown now the angular acceleration of link bc will be we know that the tangential component divided by length of that link so using that formula i can find out the angular acceleration of link bc as well angular acceleration of link cd so if you do the manual construction the acceleration diagram looks like this so this is this is a radial component of ba tangential component of ba so resultant of these two vector will be acceleration of point b then radial component of cb tangential component of cb then the radial component of cd tangential component of cd so intersection of these two gives you the acceleration of point c so then by measurement you take the measurement of that uh, line multiply by your scale we will get the required value so this is the solution for today's problem i hope you understood thank you